Welcome Aquarius to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition be messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Cross watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, Please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nicest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and get on with the reading. Spirit, can you please reveal to me? What is the energy of the person connected to Aquarius in love? What can you reveal to me about the person that is coming through? Thank you, Spirit. What does Aquarius need to know about the person that is connected to them in love? So we have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally, and this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So your person is very controlling. They know that you are very special to them. Okay, you guys have already met or have already communicated towards one another if you haven't met them in person. They know that there is chemistry here. Okay, um, also we have deception in reverse. So what I am feeling is that they're actually being honest or maybe this person wants to tell you the truth that they want to give this relationship a chance. So, you know, they may come off as as like wanting to do things in their way and um you might have to give them some slack or leeway if you're interested in this person that i'm speaking of okay so it's really up to you aquarius um but they do feel that this is a special connection okay i i'm definitely am picking up on that so let's go ahead and clarify Spirit, can you please bring forth clear messages in regards to the person connected to Aquarius in love? What can you reveal to me about this person in this present moment? What is going on real time with a person that is connected to you, Aquarius? Let's see. Wow, we have marriage and it's in reverse. So it says this relationship is moving towards a sacred union. They're actually getting a divorce. So, you know, it's a different card, but I just got done with Libra's reading and Libra is actually going through the same thing. So I am feeling that for my air signs, okay, if there is a marriage involved, someone is getting a divorce, okay? Um, and it's clarified with letting go of the control issues. So, um, they don't want to control the situation about this divorce anymore. If it's going to get ugly, they're going to let it get ugly. It's just whatever means that they can to go through it. I feel that it's going to take quite a level of patience. So, um, you know, patience, my dear, right? They know that you are the one. Everything will unfold in divine time. So I have a feeling like I could be reading for twin flames. It could be your soulmate, okay? Take it as it resonates. But this relationship with this person may not be a quick and easy process. At least they're actually going through an ending with a karmic partner. Okay, that's positive, especially been waiting for them to get out of that situation. Okay, they need to practice more self-care. Also, okay, we have integrity, which is in reverse. It says, does this situation align with your values and morals? Are they not in their integrity? So I see here it's clarified with this deception card. Okay, so they want to be honest. Okay, they don't want to be uh, morally, uh, you know, incorrect. They do want to give this relationship a chance. So they want to set healthy boundaries. So this is actually really positive, Aquarius. 
whoever this person is, okay, they're going through an ending, a relationship, very similar energy to Libra. I, it wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if you're dealing with another air sign. And I've been getting that all day long today. Okay, so if uh, if you're resonating with a Libra, okay, if you feel like this is a Libra, go ahead and watch a Libra reading and vice versa, because I'm pulling out different cards, but it's the same energy. I kid you not like different cards, but it, it's the same. So hmm, interesting. Let's go ahead and see what else is going on between the two of you. So Spirit, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to the person that is connected to Aquarius in love? Please uh, bring forth clear messages. And Aqua, how do you feel towards this person? How do you guys think of one another? What are the uh, intentions in this connection? And what is the outcome? There's a lot of energy that I'm, I'm sensing. Like, I don't know. Aquarius, are you busy? It must be your person. But someone is like busy doing a lot. Um... No one needs to take a break, right? Um, but just enough to clear your mind. So we have your nine of cups and wishes are coming true. So um, the one cup that is missing is you, okay? I have a feeling like your person wants to approach you in that kind of a way. Now, the third party is still like an issue. There could be uh, gossip, slander, you know, extramarital affairs. I don't know, whatever that the current person would actually bring against your individual. But they're very clear okay, about their values. That's why we had the integrity card in reverse. So, um and also with uh, the deception, right? So they don't want to deceive. They want to be honest. So I can I can see this already. So your person wants to do the right thing, but the karmic is going to say, "See, you know, you cheated on me, you asshole." You know, like something like that. Um, so I I have a feeling like there is some sort of argument uh, that is going on with your uh, individual. Okay, they're very clear on what they need to do, and um, they're actually, you know taking action they're they're moving things forward and um they know that they haven't been completely uh you know loyal to the karmic um because if that were the case then you know why are you here right um so there must have been a situation where you know um both of you guys overstepped the boundaries especially if there was a marriage uh involved and um so yeah i'm getting a lot of testy uh, energy coming from uh, the person and um, it's not really good okay now they are actually delaying a union process they are trying to figure things out so they're slowing things down but they do want to work on this you know especially if you've known this person for three years so you may not have um hear from them okay um but I see that they're trying to leave a past situation behind. They're trying to make plans. Okay. And there's a lot that's going on with them. Okay. The karma is going to try and do their best to bring them down. And um, they're kind of sad. Okay. That they, they couldn't expedite or speed up the whole process of coming together with you. And um you know, they're looking at their commitment. So again, your person's having like that deep realization. I was getting like meditative thoughts, like, you know, sitting still with yourself, thinking about your life, you know, like their life is as hectic and chaotic as is, but you know, it would be beneficial for your person to just like, just have some alone time for like five or 10 minutes, right? Because I feel like they're just doing so much these days. Now, um, they're really open-minded about this connection towards you. And within three days to three weeks, you could hear from them. They're just waiting. They want to rekindle, uh, you know, the romance with you. And this is your card. They want to heal the connection. And um, they know that they were rude towards you in the past. Okay. Maybe they thought that, you know, they wouldn't be coming back. But yeah, here they are. 
you know, you're hearing from them or you're seeing them again, okay, one of the two, and they want union. So this could happen within a matter of a couple months. So you could hear from them at, you know, at the end of this month, or maybe into next month. And, um, and after that, when you guys have like this conversation, then it could develop into a relationship. Okay, but I really feel like they're letting go of a marriage right now. Okay, so, you know, they could be like, um, getting like separation, you know, like a legal separation, and they're not dealing with the karmic, you know, take it as it resonates, but I feel like you're gonna have some um, answers to your questions, you know, are they for real living, the, leaving the karmic, you know, you want proof, very similar energy to Libra, okay, because they want to set those healthy boundaries this time. They don't want to just, you know, come in and, you know, and check in and check out. So they definitely want to change. They want to have that new beginning. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. And um, they were just dealing with a needy and codependent person of the past. And they want to get away from that. You know, they were still like, you know, stuck on that energy they they know okay your person knows and that's why they want to work things out with you because you're different okay they may come come off as uncaring you know like they didn't give a shit or whatnot but they really do you know they want to come in with an apology so that's really positive aquarius let's see what else because i really feel like there's someone that's coming back Again, yeah, I see here the Wheel of Fortune. It's in reverse. So there's a karmic ending here. Um, you know, they went through some hard times, but they're going to end it. Again, they keep living in the past. They're going to break free from that cycle. Okay, I definitely do feel that. And also, um, with you, you want to move on from the situation. But you're accepting and you're healing from this because you you i feel like you're gonna forgive them okay i really do now how do you guys feel look we have here ace of pentacles so there's definitely a new beginning they want to offer you something in the physical something tangible and look we have here the emperor so they really feel that you are their divine feminine you know someone who is a mother a nurturer someone that they love very deeply someone that they can commit themselves to with you oh wow look at this we have the emperor definitely this is your twin flame so this is divine masculine energy you want a father you want someone stable someone who is protective there is a a proposal that is coming through okay they're going to end a relationship with somebody and they're going to offer you I want to say a proposal now i mean maybe they promised marriage to you for some time but if it wasn't that they're finally like making an offer to you aquarius and the physical okay at least that's how they're feeling now what is their intent now we have here two of pentacles so maybe in the past two years you know they were overly committed in that other situation and um they just really couldn't see with the high priestess in reverse you know they they felt alone um they really feel like you know maybe nobody wants them so they're going through like their own personal issues from what i can see and with you we have here four swords so you had a lot of fear and anxiety okay again you you actually need rest and um do some meditation so you really want to think about this you felt isolated you felt unwanted you know you didn't know what to really think this has been going on for some time, so I really feel that, okay, if this is resonating with you, you've known this person for at least two years, okay? You know, and for some, it could have been longer than two years, but for two years, it's been this energy where this person may have made promises to leave or they were just in your life and you're just wondering, are they ever going to leave? That's been going on for a couple of years, okay? That's what I feel very strongly about. Now, in the outcome, we have here two of swords, so there's an indecision here and they are, are actually feeling really cold okay when it comes to you um they feel guarded that's why and they want to be honest they want to tell you the truth why are they being cold right with you um you're just being jealous because the karmic situation is still lingering at least that's what you feel um let's see yeah, they're by themselves. They're not even socializing with other people. And they want to know, would you forgive them? Okay, this is judgment. They want to know, would you take them back? And you, 
you feel like you know still you you don't trust this person so i would give it some time aquarius i know that you don't completely trust them you know uh, i'm not telling you what to do you know because i see that they're by themselves but i mean is this gonna be like an endurance relationship where it's you finally be able to be with them forever and ever it may be you know i do see that there is an offer here and I, I see that that it's like a twin flame connection. If you feel like, you know, that's up your alley, like, you know, like that's what's been going on between you and your person, especially for the past two years, then I would say, okay, you know, but spirit isn't showing me like um, the end game here, right? Um, that's what I see so far, you know, let's see what else, what are the messages that wanna come through? Spirit, what does your person want to say to you at this time? What are the messages that want to come through? You're just going to have to be patient, right? My favorite P word. Especially if you're a twin watching me and you've watched me on this channel for about three years, right? Um, patience is my favorite P word. It's every twin's favorite word. You know, it's not in your time. That's ego. You know, it's in divine time, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah you make me happy so yeah, that's good news right <laughs> you make them happy is there anything else and i know Aquarius, you're like okay well i need more than that <laughs> let me see what else they're gonna say now they're trying to overdo it okay because i had like that whole stack of cards come out spirit any any additional messages that want to come through for aquarius from their love interest yeah i just needed some space and time please don't take this personally i love you and i never stopped loving you so they never did okay i feel like you guys were in separation i blocked my heart because i needed to heal i was in fear please understand and also you always are around me i just need my space please don't take it personal so your person is coming with all kinds of apologies i think of you every day that is how much i love you so they were thinking of you and i know aquarius you want them to show you right they will show you but I would say don't put all your eggs in one basket yet because I didn't get like the final confirmation. I just know that there is a person that is getting a divorce and you've been patiently waiting for this person. I see that they're finally doing it. They want to make, make it right. They want to give this relationship a chance, you know, and if spirit isn't giving me a final answer, I would say open up, but you know, just be cautious. Okay. Don't, don't open a hundred percent up, you know, keep your guard up. You know, and um, I do see that they want to tell you the truth, though, about what's been going on. So that's what I see. So let's go ahead and see what's the guidance from Spirit. So if this has resonated with you, um, I hope you enjoyed it. So like, share, and subscribe if you will, if you haven't already. And thank you all for watching. So let's see, Spirit, what is the guidance for Aquarius? What is the guidance? for Aquarius guidance surrender the idea that you can fix someone I have a feeling like you were trying to help this person in the past it's time for a relationship to shift it doesn't work to try to fix someone each person must be accountable for his or her own healing let your person heal they think of you every day okay you are always around them you're trying to be a fixer you know they're like stop aquarius like you know they need some breathing room or something and um they were blocking their heart they needed to heal on their own not you you know help them to heal i mean i know that if you're in love with someone you want to be there for that person but um you know you did make them happy and they never stopped loving you they just need time okay give them space and time and let them work on it on their own and they're gonna show you your, you know but it's gonna take a little patience that's all i have so i really hope that that was helpful let me know thank you all for watching and if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me you can visit www.scorpionmoonintuition.com you can also follow me on ig as scorpion moon intuition i hope you all have a lovely day and i will see you next time Bye bye mm -hmm.
Thank you.